Hey guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 52 of Minecraft Season 3. And I'm just in my base. I did a few changes here and considering that I had a full chest of apples and it's slowly shrinking down to decent values of apples now, um, I set up this squeezer bunch here and uh, already we have 123 buckets of apple juice. Um, we'll have enough apple juice to run these fermenters full time but um, unfortunately we won't have oh actually we will because we do have a lot of biomass here it will be drained fairly quickly um, but I have been using these Let's see to put these in the fermenters to give it a little bit of a boost oh there we go yeah, that ended up in the correct one. And this one there. I could probably switch these fermenters off of the water and do apple juice instead. Which I might. Because four should be able to handle three fermenters at the speed that this is going. So we get a bit more biomass. I want to keep this one topped up and full. Uh, so we get plenty of it out. Let's actually get some liquid ducts and do that right away before I start with anything else. Um, the last episode was a little bit non-focused, and I'm sorry for that. But this episode, I am going to focus on setting up the first B stuff that I need to do. Um, which, in fact, I have no idea how to set up yet, but... Uh, let's get a liver. Come on. I want to set up a basic breeding area, and we have the machinery to do actually the uh, breeding by hand. Okay, so let's see. You don't need that when you can get apple juice. How are you for water now. That's good. Because if I now hook you guys up like... oh, Ah! There we go. Like this. And we destroy that one. I need some dirt. There we go. And now we just need to go like in this direction. can do straight across here and get some liquid ducts going. There. And if I were to just hop down here now and see if I can do this. These should fill up. At least the other one will. Once their fluids is low, this one has apple juice now, and this one has apple juice now. That's awesome. Which means that it will produce a lot more. Anyhow, bee breeding. That's what I want to do. Let's take a look over here. I brought all the machinery and stuff, which is also how I had another tank there. And we have a lot of this and this. And also we have these apiaries. Um, apiaries are a pain to make. Um, so I'm thinking that I will make a dedicated bee area for each type of the basic bees. And we have the bees. Uh, let's get a drone, I'll show you. We have these. The forest meadows. Modest, tropical, wintry, marshy, rocky, and water. These are all the base bees. And I will want to have... Uh, plenty of each of these just to make sure that I have um, all the different types stored up. So the way we want to do this, well I need to make uh, I think it's a B-Sync logistic pipes or just a B Drone terminus? No. B 
recipe and a recipe sink module, I think. It does need a carpenter with honey, so I can't quite do that yet. However, I do have a carpenter here, and we also have the centrifuge, which we will need to use. So what I need here is power, which I can pull over from there, because I have machines here. And uh, that power should be easy enough to add. Also need to set up a little bit of an area. So we need a total of, what did I say again? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 areas. And I'm thinking that they will get a 3x3 three three each. Let's see. If I do that, will I have space? Let's grab some dirt and I will plan this out using dirt. That uh, should be more than enough dirt. That's one. That's two. That's three. Four. I only have space for the four ones. So forest, meadows, modest, and 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 probably gonna go for tropical. Though I can't quite get these working in this biome yet. So let's do here. Uh, if I set that one there, they can be a bit more plumped together there. wonder if I can... How will it look if I do this? No, not quite. This platform is just one too short, which I can easily fix. Like this. And we need this. Oops. And this. Like so. So, what I'm thinking here now is that I am out of bricks. Let's get some more. I'll put some floor paneling in there. Um, each of these little areas will be where I produce the basic items, the basic bees, just to keep them going. And then I will expand to this platform area, uh, probably another floor or just outside here with the newbies. Newbies? Uh, new bees, which I will probably build out here. Uh, so we're going to have four, five, six, seven for now. Can't do all of them here anyhow, so that's fine with me. Actually, that's going to be wood. So, let's uh, get going on setting a few of these up, at least. Um, just getting some of the oak wood here. I don't have? Oh, I do. There we go, come on. I like seeing that fuel one almost full, which means I can set up more of these eventually. Alright, so that will be the B areas. Well, these will be the areas. And in here I will have the machines. So I will have a machine here, and a machine, and a machine, and a machine, and onward like that. So we need some power here, and I am going to use this spot here for honey. So we have apple juice, biofuel, biofuel, biogas, and biofuel. Actually, let's put the honey tank in here. Attach it to here. Let's do that. It'll look better. Um, I have a little bit of iron tanks. So, can we make it a 4x4, four four, I wonder? Yep, we can. Actually, 4x4. Four we make it 5x5. Five five. Yeah, we can probably do that.
And there we go. One, two, three, and four. And the fifth. One, two, three. Oh, not the vowels. Three and four. And the fifth, which is the ceiling or whatever you want to see it as. That's five and one, two, three, four and five. Oh, that's six. Don't need six high. That will just be too much. The good thing with this age is that I will be able to produce B products all time, all the time, because this is pretty good when it comes to... Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's lower. That's fine. Should I actually raise this? I will. I will build this up and I will put down the squeezer or the centrifuge uh, and a squeezer and uh, pull in some power in this area and uh, once I'm done with that I'll see you then so one moment right so I realized that I will need a couple of uh, these golden chipsets and some more gates and stuff like that so I built this one I did this earlier actually so but this pulses out at a nice 66 megajoule per tick so that's pretty fast for most of the items that I want to make which is nice um, I also oops that's the wrong room up here in my crafting area set up this one to make blank modules and I also made one for an extractor mark one and I'm thinking that I should my bags are very full right now, so let's clear them up. I don't need these for the moment. Like so, I'm going to need the item sink. We are going to need a crafting logistics pipe. I don't have that, so let's get some glowstone. Let's get four and some uh, logistic pipes. Let's see. Because we're going to make some provider modules. The provider mark, well, the standard provider will do. The mark 1, mark 2 is expensive. Um, right. So this isn't hooked up at all, is it? Nope. So we're going to need some more logistic pipes. Oh. I'm going to need to set up a crafting recipe for them as well. What's the standard recipe? Hmm, it's diamond. We could probably do this as long as I keep making some of the other items that I need. Oh, and I will need some gold and pipes as well. I see. Thankfully, by using the golden pipes, I can lessen the amount of pipes that I actually need to use. Well, logistic pipes, which should make the system a bit faster. There we go. And this one here should take um, for the provider. It's um, let's get a blank module. Oh, module blank. Let's get some redstone. One, two, three. Some lapis. One, two, and a gold chipset. One. Because here's the thing. The provider module, this one, perfect. Uh, I need to set up the recipe. There is the blank module. It takes a little bit of time making the modules. Module, three redstone, two lapis, and that makes... I need one one of those. Now I can craft that automatically. And also the item sync module. Mod based item sync? Okay. So we need iron and cactus. Do I have that? Crafting golden There we go. So we're going to need another 
module. Cactus green. We're going to need to set up something with that. I can do that. Um, that kind of crafting I would prefer doing down here since it needs power. Um, like for this pulverizer here, it can easily... Can it extract to top as well? Probably not. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I should have power going here. Yep, I will need a powered... I don't have a powered furnace. Okay. Oops, that was a bit too far. Let's see. I don't have a powered furnace. Okay. Power switch pipe. No, that's the one. Bricks, copper, redstone, and a machine frame. Let me craft this up and set it up. One moment. I just requested 64 cactus green, and look at them go. Look at that, and we have one, two, three. It's going to take forever, but that's not the problem here at all. Oh, there we go. So, whoa, dude. Too fast. Too fast. You're going in too fast. Uh, the item sink. Um, this one. We need the blank module. We need some green. Um, let's see what I have here. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. Why isn't that properly sending the items? Since I requested I should be going Huh. But instead it's going into the pipes. Very odd. Huh. So the question is, what happens then if I set this up as a crafting recipe? Well, only one way to see that, is it? Yep. By putting in two of those, one of those, what more? Redstone and some what was the last one? The blank module. Oh, and iron. Chipsets. Why am I making all these, you might ans uh, ask me. Well, I need barrels. And barrels work the best if I use these kinds of modules. Um, can I put this in? One item sink, that's good. Now I don't understand why this one isn't... I don't really care if it goes directly to there, but it should end up in the correct chest. So that's a bit of an annoyance, but I should be fine even so. We're all full of apples again? No. Hmm. Wonder why that didn't go into the sorting place as it should. I don't even want to know how much mulch we have now. Okay, so, with barrels, we have one. I'll just set up a recipe for them. It's not a big deal. So, we're actually going to need crafting pipes. A pair of them. And golden ones.
And of course, glowstone. Gonna need four. For now. This one and this one. Oh, nice. Oh, not that one. That one. And very nice that we have this going now. Which means that I have the whole round trip set up. So, does that mean this one is ready? It's already making stuff. This is making stuff, that is making stuff. All of these middle ones are actually crafting now, except for these two. But, um, that's good. I just need to get these set up then. Hmm. Gonna have to figure out how I wanna do this. Um... These require slabs, but I have plenty of those. Seven and a slab. Let's see. Seven and a slab makes a barrel. Barrel. So what happens now if I request some barrels? Let's make 10. I got one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plenty of barrels. That's awesome. Now I can set this up because I will need to make a few of these little barrel-y things. I might also need to set up one of these um, uh, sneaky for down, maybe. Do I need that? Do I have those? Let's see. In my big backpack here, do I have the upgrade tool? Upgrade manager, yes. Let's... Uh, dig here. I have sneaky upgrade for up. I do believe that I need that. So let's set that one up as well. We're getting a little bit on the way, but we're not done yet. What do we need? Paper. Let's get two. We need slime. Let's get two. We need redstone, four, and we need an iron chip. Let's get one. One, two, and that, and paper. Thank you, paper. And uh, let's see. That, 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 and that makes... that. Perfect, now I can get these done and uh, set up a storage wall for these items. And the good thing with this is that I can run everything up the back of these pipes, well these barrels. Oh. So I make like this. Yeah, that will be good. So, let's craft some item sinks. Didn't I make an item sink one? Oh, I never set it up, did I? Which one is the item sink? That's the item sink module. Oops. Item sink. Whee! <laughs> Always funny flying like that. Um, because you will we will get a lot of these bee wax and propolis and uh, stuff like that. I can dump the honey in here. Um, and uh, silk wisps will go into one, bees wax into one, propolis into one for now. These are the ones that I will configure up. We need some chassis. 
I have plenty of Mark II ones. And considering that we have some logic pipes going under here, I don't need to do so much work. I can just dig down here and go to about here. One more. And then go this way. And then go up this wall. This will, of course, be covered up just to make sure it looks nice. And we need one of those. Like so. The good thing with this kind of preparation is that when I enable the bees and everything, I won't have any problems whatsoever uh, getting everything sorted out easily. That's three and we can make four. I will just make sure that these all have these item sinks. So we need item sinks and providers. So we need three of each. Item sink and provider. We do have plenty of provider modules so let's get these first. Let's see, provider, provider and provider. And the item sync, the first one here, will be Propolis. You can do that. Beeswax, there. And we have one of those. And Silky Wisp. Now, when I enable this, oops, that was very messy of me. Also, we're going to need to get these sneak upgrades, and I should get some more. I'll get three of them. This one I don't really have anything for yet, so let's not plug that in. Come on. Takes forever with these crafted items that are a bit special. Should see them now coming here. Okay. Was it two only? Maybe. Um, which one did I add it to? Uh, yeah, that one. Only need one. Here's the thing. These sneaky upgrades make them attach to a particular side. So now, what happens if I take some base wax and dump it into my sorting system? Hopefully, it gets sorted. And also the honeycombs. I do have propolis and honey drops and silk wisps as well. There we go. Plenty of those. There we go, propolis. And here we'll have some wisps. And in here we should have plenty of honeycombs. And some honey being squeezed. Let's flip that on so we get some more liquid honey. I will need an extractor on that one as well. So let's see. We can get just a standard chassis. And an extractor module. Awesome. Can get rid of one more chest. I might as well just dump these honey cans. We do have the seed oil, which is something we'll need to look at. Let's see. I don't need those at the moment. 
that one I need. Sneaky item and provider, but extractor. And are we all out of golden pipes now? No, I don't think so. This one with the extractor. Now, Propolis should get extracted out and sent to the barrel. And I can now get beeswax out of my system. Awesome. One moment, guys. Yeah, seems I have reached the end of this episode. Uh, wow, these episodes fly by fast. In the next one, uh, we'll set up one more tank here with seed oil as the target. It's going to be as big as this one, but seed oil is something that takes forever and it's difficult to make. Um, look at that. I have a flickering. I have no idea what that is and it's very annoying. Ugh. But I'm thinking about setting up another one of these farms for just, well, farming. So we can get some seeds. I uh, will look into some options there because I know seeds are quite difficult to get a lot of. But we'll need them for uh, some automation in the future. But with these, I have most items ready to get started on the bee breeding itself. We're gonna get the standard queens, the common ones, and uh, uh, the rocky. And I will go on a hunt for some different bee types. I know we have some hives out here. But uh, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.